Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to make sure you know all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on all new episodes of Wade's World, Boob Windows and Long Foxes, our hard R movie reviews, and so much more, all completely uncensored. Access starts for as little as $1 a month, full videos when you pledge $3 a month. Check us out at the link in all of our show notes, or just go straight to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrot, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks podcast. I love Batman. You're muted. In true Bruce Wayne fashion, sending children to work in dangerous situations. Great job, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, come on. That's right, kids. Me and Lil Pelfire aren't wearing black because it's a funeral. It's time for another It. We are the Knights! <laughs> Batman podcast. Like I said, I am Phil, and that is the little hellfire. Ta-da. Not a millennial. She just plays one on the internet. Wait, what? No, I am and proud. Elder geriatric. Get off my lawn already. Get off my broadband, kid. All right, so we've got a treat for you tonight, kids. We're going to be covering classic issue Batman Shadow of the Bat 36, and then the metric leap ton of bat books we got this week. So, poop ton, and I do mean poop ton. <laughs> like, literally, I mean, we were talking about the November solicits. It's like half of DC's line is like bat books, but I think literally this week, like, half my order is like bat books and it was 10 bat books so maybe over half. <laughs> all right so yeah a lot to get into so no synopsis kids i don't like do this the old-fashioned way all right we're gonna free ball it all right uh Hello. Hello. all right so yes batman shadow of the bat the, cla- the one classic we got this uh time thank god we only have one nah uh, yeah, Shadow of the Bat 36 from March 1995. In the name of the Father, guest starring Black Canary. Yay! If you go by that cover, the very flexible Black Canary. Uh, yeah. I mean, Oliver's a freak. Come on, you didn't know that? I was going to say, you don't land the billionaire by uh, being a slouch, okay? <laughs> All right, so yeah, I love those painted covers. Mm. Well, they're gonna bring Shadow of the Bat back, kind of, sort of, but not really, just in name only, probably. Well, yeah, it's like Shadow. Uh, is it Shadows, Shadows of the Bat? Of the or, bat. Yeah, well, one well, and again, Bruce is leaving Gotham, so everyone else has to uh, step up. I just we'll talk about it, but I just feel like we've done this before. Well, I was thinking about it. You know what it's probably going to be, right? As we've seen our friends at Marvel are bringing a lot of 90s stuff back, is this going to be the modern interpretation of Nightfall? Oh, God. We don't, nobody wants that. Nobody needs that. Because did you see you showing up in uh, upcoming issues of uh, Urban Legends? Who's that? Azrael. Oh, yeah. We talked about that. Mm. Yeah. So. Hopefully to die once and for all. But maybe a girl can just dream. But I'm just know. saying, is this like their the modern interpretation of Nightfall instead of him his body getting broken? Maybe Fear State breaks his mind and he has to take a break. If Bruce Wayne's mind breaks and it's not amnesia, then it's not Bat God. So are we getting rid of Bat God? Because I'm down for that. I mean, Scott Snyder already did the amnesia thing. I just wonder if he's going to be like. Yeah, that's uh, what I mean. Like, if Bruce Wayne's mind breaks, then there's no Bat God. There's no going back to that. Yeah. I'm here for it. So that's what comes out of it. Oh, please. He's going to leave town, get some uh, penicillin tea, and he'll be fine. Come on. In the world of, to stoop hot chicks and uh, black latex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Lord. He's going to make the world tour. Yeah. Catwoman, Talia. Oh, yeah. He's making the. Go <laughs> bring back Vicky Bell just to kill her off. <laughs> oh, don't put that in the atmosphere. I mean, Batman 89 is kind of trending. If you don't know, <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Breaking zippers all over town. <laughs> okay, let's all dive right. into this one. All right, writer Alan Grant, penciler yeah. Barry Kitson. Uh, uh-oh, a Barry Kitson? That's oh. not who we were expecting. <laughs> he, yeah, he did some of these. So I don't know if we have more needed a break, but uh, 
Yeah, I think 90s Barry Kitt, then all I think is Superman. Yes, exactly. that is the exact right answer, sir. Ray McCarthy, inker, Adrian Roy, colorist, John Costanza, letterer. <laughs> Can't stand you. Uh, Brian Stelfreeze, cover painter, Jordan D. Gorfinkel, assistant editor, and, of course, Dennis O'Neill, editor. And don't forget your special thanks to Steve Mannion and Scott Hanna for whatever the hell they did. And, of course, Batman created by Bob Kane <coughs> and Bill Finger. Uh, uh, you think Kirby had it bad? I'm just saying. I know. And him and Stan were friends. I mean, at least Kirby, I mean, at least he was on there as, like, you know, penciler and, you know. Something. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, this issue opens with Black Canary uh, beating up Being some... Black oh. Canary beating up ruffians in her fishnets in a back alley on a motorcycle. Black Canary in an alley versus female bikers. I mean, if you don't love Black Canary, I don't know what you're doing with your life. She is one BAMF. Like, I mean, legitimate, too. I mean, is this a Shadow of the Bat or Lil' Hellfire's hard drive? <laughs> the world may never know. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, she's just fighting and she's looking for information. Uh... Equipping the Fuck whole her up, Birdie. I'm like, no, you might not want to say that to her. <laughs> so she's heard that one a little too much. <laughs> okay, as an endowed woman, tell me that that canary outfit, this canary outfit. I mean, that's tape, right? That is some like super strong boob tape. Because <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> especially the way she moves, you know. Especially no flipping. straps, no way. <laughs> Like no way. This like, is how you know this is fantasy. <laughs> like flipping up that fire escape. Yeah. <laughs> so then she gets to the roof and there's of course, of course, whose town is it? Whose well, book is it? She's on a rooftop. She was asking for it. <laughs> but at least at least like Batman's like respectful for at least it, you could tell he, he was knows. She she, yeah. she don't want him. She's got her own billionaire at home. So <laughs> she doesn't have to take guff from him. <laughs> I think he respects her, you know, even Clark he'll get in his face and be like, what are you doing to my toe? Mm. Hello, fellow vigilante that likes to dress in black. <laughs> Although maybe Where's Bruce... your colorful, uh, colorful coded sidekick? May I'm home with Oliver. <laughs> maybe Bruce is taking it a little easy because this is only a few months after he came back after Nightfall and Prodigal, so. Yeah, you better watch yourself. <laughs> You're easily replaceable, Bruce. Never forget that Black Canary is in like the top twenty fighters in all of DC, and you know, outside of her like meta cry, she is all human. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, Kristen and I were talking Richard Dragon issues uh, beginning of the week. Yeah, well, uh, did you bring up Arrow? Um, a See, little, this is yeah. Why you need a little Hellfire every now. And no, then. I did, I did, because <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, an evil version showed up on Arrow six season six and seven but no i was gonna say Kristen found the list of like the top fighters of the dc universe yeah and black canary was on it so she's looking for a kid uh i love how she said bully away batman i'm just like wait a minute what year is this no. why are we speaking like it's the 1920s or 30s <laughs> i'm through with men telling me what to do <laughs> hey feel that sister I've had enough of reflecting them at twice their natural size. Is that commentary? <laughs> Poor Oliver. <laughs> Are we saying he's shooting with that junior archery set? I mean, how long did it take him to have a kid? <laughs> hey, oh, you didn't even know it. Exactly. Uh Mm, so she said, yeah, I'm looking for this Hibs kid and better not stand in the way. Mm, and then we go to the police station. Everyone's worried about Bullock because, yes, he got injured last. Was that the last arc? By the KG Beast. All that flubber around him, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> it was but a flesh wound. It's fine. <laughs> and so with Bullock in the hospital, yes, Hardback Bach is going to be partners with Montoya now. Say it one more time. What? Bach and Montoya? There you go. <laughs> Bach, Bach? 
Uh, yes. So, and the cops have a one. This LL Hibbs. Hmm. LL. Wonder what that stands for. <laughs> Not Laurel Lance. <laughs> nope. Hashtag still better. Then we get the whole Black Canary flashback thing about how she wanted to be a hero when she was a kid. Like her mother. The original Black Canary. And their father was a detective. Her father, Larry. Larry Quentin Lance. Until one night she was with her father and they found someone stealing cash from their employer. Mrs. Hibbs. Uh, it was only the second time. Just $50. It's always just $50. That's how because it starts. She- because they have a baby due. I know. I know. I don't understand. Like you see on the news, like these people like, oh yeah, she, you know, this, this woman or this guy like swindled, like, and it ended up with like a grand total, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm like, you don't think people would notice that, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars missing. People try, like when you say you're a financial advisor, people, as we've learned, as we've learned, they just trust you for it to be there. I don't even trust the bank with my money. I know. And it's, Yeah. Oh, yeah. People are crazy. Uh, so, yeah. So, Larry Lance let these people go. They had a baby on the way. I can't go to jail when Mary needs me. So, her father taught her to have a heart. And then flip it out. <laughs> so, then she goes to the family because now their their uh, son is missing. And I love how they're like, you look familiar. Do we know you? Perfect disguise. All the time. I got a familiar cleavage. Hey, oh, <laughs> there's a drop. I love the perfect disguise. Better than glasses, kids. Blonde wig. Uh. Yeah, Clark. Oh Lord, don't put that in the atmosphere. Come back from the dead. He's got like a blonde mullet. Hmm. So she's asking the family questions and then the brother. Mm. The was, siblings it, always know what's up, bro. Yeah. I always want to ask the siblings and not in front of the parents. L.L. was a good boy. He never ran with any gangs. Yeah, right. Uh, I know. Bad as hell. <laughs> uh, was, yeah, but the brother's like, yeah, they were firing out of the car. It was a crazy gang drive-by. <laughs> One shot directly through the forehead, either very lucky or deadly accurate. Mm. Oh, uh, oh no, I forgot LL was murdered. That's right. <laughs> and Are I'm you... not talking about Cool J. Oh. <laughs> you kids don't know. <laughs> so the brother goes down. Said, knock you out. <laughs> Batman's going to knock you out. Uh, literally. <laughs> well, no, the brother goes down to the gang. Oh, no. Everything cool? No. You're, you told me to let you know if there was trouble. Well, we got a special investigator at the house. Don't people know Canary was in the Justice League? Don't people know? She's a legitimate businesswoman. <laughs> a special investigator. Shouldn't he be like, there's a freaking member of the Justice League at our house. If, if you if you're in the Justice League and you have boobs, you don't count. Sorry, Hot Girl. Sorry, Wonder Woman. Sorry, Black Canary. Ah, uh, Zatanna. Poor as and worst of all. <laughs> if you have fishnets. <laughs> She's like, but I tried the little top hat and everything. Throw mm-hmm. them off. Uh, I love it. <laughs> you better make sure she finds out nothing. Oh, if she, if she does find something, your geeky brother won't be alone. Spoilers, don't you just love how they named the baby after her father? Uh-huh. <laughs> so cute. I know. Aww. And of course, Batman's witnessing this whole thing. And then He's more. got nothing better to do. I mean, maybe the Joker's robbing a bank or torturing people, but no, let's just, just, let's just help Black Canary on her personal human story that I never get involved in. <laughs> Again, I guess you could always say, oh, you know, Bruce is helping her move things along, so she leaves town. <laughs> He's like, even the Green Lanterns ask permission before they come here. Who does she think she is? 
Uh, so yeah, another flashback. She sees, yeah, the Hibbs has invited her father to the christening. He's going to be the godfather of their baby. Larry Lance. Somebody get Marlon Brando's corpse on the phone. Oh! Burn! What? No, they said you said godfather. I know. <laughs> I'm asking you to do me a favor. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so and then as a, I guess as a teenager, yeah, she got to hold the baby and then, uh, her dad had visited them a couple times, then he died. But then her, things with her and her mom got bad, and then uh, she fell in love and saved the world. I was gonna say, you know you had to throw that in there. You, you know, she, 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 she's with the Green Arrow, you know. You should go read a Green Arrow comic book. <laughs> Although it's 95, isn't he dead at this point? Yeah, true. Oliver, yeah, I think. Yeah, not the, not the other guy. Remember Love Connor? Connor? You don't remember Connor, right? <sighs> Why do you hurt me? Why do you enjoy hurting me? Oh. Some of his stories weren't that bad when he was with like the Justice League, but his solo stuff was absolute garbage. Oh, coming so, up next coming up next year we'll be covering a few of his issues because then when he crosses over with Green Lantern, so Yeah, that's fine. If you want on there, just let me know. I'll be drunk, just so you know. You know, sec, you know, sector two eight one four, the Green Lantern podcast. In brightest day, in blackest. Um, no, that show's called What the Funko. I don't, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, I gotta send in feedback. We want us to call it What the Funko. <laughs> incoming, incoming. Uh, and the next time she even thought about the boy who bore her father's name was when he died. Life comes at you fast. <laughs> uh, the the boy, not his. The boy, not her father. Oh. Mm. So she finds the brother. What do you want? The truth about your brother's death. I told you how it happened. It was an accident. I know you were with the street demons with a Z. It's like Jokers with a Z from Batman. <laughs> League of Geeks. I'll sway of them. <laughs> League of Geeks. I don't know what's going on. That motorcycle's bitching. <laughs> Oh, she's just like sitting there on the fire skin. <laughs> what? <laughs> then she's laying it down. It's like, oh, hmm, teenage boy. Maybe cleavage will make him talk. She knows what she's doing. She is a thorough investigator. Okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, but I know you're frightened. They're giving in the threats only make it worse. They killed Larry, and you know. And you know sooner or later this they'll come free. This haircut's killing me, though, bro. 1995. I'm glad I'm not. I, I'm glad that I'm. I can't really remember. It's not very clear. Maybe he's trying formative memories. Ninety five. Maybe he was a Superman fan at this point. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll come after you, your mom or dad, or your little sister. Starts crying. I want my brother back. Of course, then she hugs him as Batman stands there looking all well. Batman. Uh, he was he too really good. should get that uh, that cow dry clean. It's it's pretty wrinkled on the ends there. Look at them ears. It's always the ears, but it's fine. Yes, but the brother was too good because he was coming back from the library when he saw a street fight and got knifed. Sure, the library. Uh huh. No, wait. He was carrying book. What did, did that say? Zena. Z E N A. Zena banking something. <laughs> banking philosophy. Hmm. He was trying to get rich, with, or he—he he was trying to get rich, but he died trying. Oh. I don't know why I just made a Fifty Cent reference. I really don't. It was right there, and I took my shot. Sorry. <laughs> oh my. Uh. Oh, oh no! They that killed... was a reference to. Well, they killed some guy, and then Larry was like, "That man's dead because you should give yourself up, or what? Or I'll tell the police." You don't, you don't, you don't get in the murderer's face and say, "I'm going to tell the police on you." <laughs> you Wait say, "A minute." That's it. That's kind of sort of a real book. That's interesting. Oh, really? Kind of, sort of. But yeah, especially if you're a bookworm, don't get in the murderer's face and say, "I'm going to tell the police if you don't." You go, "Okay, man, cool." That's I'm the difference between book smart and street smart. 
<laughs> I know. You tell them, oh, no, man, we, we we cool. And then you run to the police station and tell them when you're away from the murderer. No, no, no. You live in Gotham. Snitches get stitches and end up in ditches. <laughs> you don't keep your mouth shut. <laughs> or you get, or you find the Batman and he threatens them. <laughs> to put them in medical debt. <laughs> exactly. Stay away from the Hibbs family. <laughs> or you will be crushed under a mountain, a literal mountain of medical debt. America. Ah, <laughs> uh, one of our greatest citizens. The man who now has more books at DC than anyone. In the words of Mark Wade. Of time. In the words of Mark Wade, the, the the character who's had more stories written about him than any other character in fiction. That's a crazy statistic. Yeah, that's a crazy statistic. Suck at Moon Knight. <laughs> Ray like that. Ray's not gonna hear this. Ray's not gonna hear this. Ray's not gonna hear this. Charlie's not gonna hear this. Ray's not gonna hear this. Russell will tell him. Don't worry. I was gonna say maybe a Russell. Yeah. Wild like an animal. I think those those bikers were just looking for Joker nuggets. Honestly. Well, I was going to say, this is issue 36. The next issue th is 37. That's where we got the... Where's the Joker nuggets? I may be going, be going back on that show. Oh, let us he, know. He wants, to, he wants to talk some old school uh, Cobra Commander from the comics. Okay, from the comics. That, that shouldn't be too bad. Mm -mm. As long as he's not a... You know, a blue skinned snake person from the Himalayas. <laughs> yeah, in the comics, he was never that, so. I think he just had some clones, though. All because you just wanted to sell just one more toy. Oh, speaking of which, hey, Batman. Speaking hey, of Batman forever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the brother tells him, tells, tell him Black Canary. Yeah, he told me about it. It's. He told me about it at school the next day. Nobody was going to give themselves up. I tried to talk him out of it, but he wouldn't listen. He was on his way to the cops when they did it. Yeah, they shot him. Ugh, what an idiot. You live in Gotham! That's what you I said. don't live in Central City! Don't tell the... <laughs> and again, you don't have to walk there. Get on the phone. <laughs> the telephone. It's called a non-emergency police number. Exactly. <sighs> Hell, where's the post office? Come on. Yeah, that, that kid wasn't going places anyway. <laughs> exactly. And she's like, who did it? And the brother's like, I don't know who pulled the trigger, but Larry told me who killed that man. Uh, but, uh, Patches, leader of the street demons. Patches. What kind? Of, yeah. Because his beard is patchy? Uh he has a lot of patches on that leather vest like a Boy Scout. What? Yikes. Yeah, oh, real tough gang, guys. Yeah, patches. Uh, oh, and then we see where, where the uh, street demons are at. The cops are driving by. Oh, Baca threatens them. I'll be around a lot. Oh, I guess the guy who shot... Uh, Larry's looking out through the window. Oh, I could get that car from here, pal. I can't believe the nerve of Batman. Also, a little spoilers. He's asking her why she's trying to get justice for a kid that'll never know. And I'm like, your parents will never know. What the hell? Isn't that your whole... That, that hasn't been, that's, that's your been, whole thing! Hasn't that been every second of your waking and sometimes sleeping life since you were like nine, Batman? to smoke the doobie with Alfred at his butler party because that, that was the craziest thing I heard, I'd read all day. <laughs> smoke the doobie. He turned into know. a heavy, hey man, we don't need to do this, no violence. But yeah, they're like, oh, we got trouble, vigilantes. Great, I never killed a vigilante. Yeah, okay. And you're not gonna do it today either, sir. A uh, guy with a freaking pistol is gonna keg out Batman and Black Canary. Okay. Because Wishful thinking. Yeah, sees them on the roof across the street, starts firing on them. First of all, that was way too far. That's where you—that's your first mistake. Then we get that splash page of them uh, swinging down, taking out the gangs. I like the Black Canary art in this. Oh, yeah. 
It's tasteful. It's not overdone. <laughs> no. Snatch, yeah. She's not looking like Power Girl and Fishnets. Yeah, it, it's 95. She, she, she totally could have, but yeah. So yeah, they're taking out gang members on, on their feet and guys on motorcycles. <laughs> Hmm. But uh, why is she here? Guilt? Because her her father failed his godson, or sentiment? Is it a baby she held, or because she she's here because she's her father's daughter? Oh, cue the Full House music. What? Cue the Full House music. Everywhere. Hmm. But she goes after the killer who's points gun at her, says, Lady, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, sure. She takes the gun and says, This one using the kid and points it at him. Please don't shoot. Let me go. Yeah, straight to jail. She kicks him. Right in the face. Not in the face. Not in the face. Beat you to it. <laughs> yes, you beat yourself to it, yes. Not in the face. Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. Oh. <laughs> P.S. This podcast is rated teen and nobody's going to tell Rob. It's almost like an echo in here tonight. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. I have all the pieces. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so all the gang members are down. Batman, thanks for the assist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because they had that little conversation at the beginning, but now they, they're doing the opposite. You didn't need it. He doesn't like other vigilantes. He hopes they won't they won't meet again, but he's pretty he's sure. He's still holding up. Like, I wonder how she'd look in a Robin costume. <laughs> or a cat suit. Does he even like wands? I don't think he does. Um, Redheads, he maybe. That's a maybe. Oh. Uh -huh. Strawberry blonde, at best, at best. No, he likes brunettes. Uh, so yeah, so Black Canary swings away. Flip, flip. I mean, wrong, wrong character. My bad. <laughs> oh my! All right, so that was last week. <laughs> so is this a good Black Canary story? It is, and it focused mainly on Black Canary. Batman is a non-issue. In this issue, and I, I like it. I'm well, again, sorry. again, too, it's the third or fourth, depending how you look at it, Batman book. So yeah, they can do that. I mean, outside of that one out of character moment where he's like, "Why are you doing this?" <laughs> Pretty dang good book. Mm. What'd you think? Oh no, I liked it. Then why do you think I picked it? No, I liked it. <laughs> but I mean, Black that. Canary plays really well off of almost any character, so. Mm -hmm. Can't really go wrong with the Black Canary story. No. Yeah, highly recommend. So, about those Batman books this week. All right, where should we start? Wherever you want. I read them all, so. Well, I was going to say, I think the only one I didn't read that you read, uh, Pennyworth, uh, is it worth the price of admission? Mm, just watch the show. Okay. Just watch the show. So. And, I mean, that's the whole point. It is a tie-in comic, technically. They kind of, uh, like, go into, like, the future or present day, and then they kind of look back. That's, hey. like, the framing device or whatever. Are they trying After to... After my MI6 days, you know, kind of, like, go back in Afghanistan. One of those so, things. So are they trying to show how the show works into, like, regular comic book continuity? Maybe not regular comic book continuity, but the fact that Alfred turns still becomes a butler in, within that universe to the Waynes. Because we already had Martha established and all that stuff in season yeah. one. I think they're just trying to remind people, try to hype people up, maybe give them that Gotham feeling, you know what I mean? You might be able to see baby Bruce. Thomas Wayne might get involved. Oh my. But I, I mean, when are we going to throw uh, regular Alfred in a Lazarus pit already? They're waiting on the right time. Oh, when Batman comes back, he'll bring Alfred back with, oh, that's why he's leaving town. I think you cracked the code, sir. I he's think... going to go pull a Laurel Lance from Arrow. <laughs> like, I think he's been dead too long. It's fine! No, I'll... what I'm doing? I was going to say, I don't think, not Detective, but uh, are we coming up on any big uh, legacy numbers for Batman? Mm, they're all pretty 
pretty standard. Yeah. But I was going to say, once when he leaves town at the end of November or whatever, are we not going to have a regular bat, the actual Batman book for a while? Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. But no, I was saying, watch, he'll be gone in a couple months, then he'll come back with a brand shiny new overpriced, oversized number one. How much you want to bet that? They better freaking not. I know. Do you know I will riot in this? I will go to LA in this pandemic. I will freaking do it. <laughs> there will be no more building. <laughs> New suit, new number one. Alfred's they, they, back. They know where their bread is buttered. They cannot do that to Batman. They absolutely cannot. Not in this climate. Yeah, but besides Batman, who else is has a high number like that? Well, they Superman, can restart though. all the Superman. I don't give a crap about that. He needs well, to be rebooted. Well, I well, I mean, again, su- you know, Superman still, you know, hasn't. He's a redheaded stepchild at this point. I mean, Wally West is getting better treatment than Superman, quiet as a scout. <laughs> well, so, okay okay you're right because no that's true because flash and wonder woman they've gone back to the original numbering they're both at 700 some yeah yeah we've already milked that that whole thousand issue we're not gonna ever make it to 2000 at this point if you that's know, what i'm know. saying <laughs> you know you know that's what i'm saying when batman comes back with elfrid maybe they, uh, they cannot do that with batman i can see them doing that with superman there would be riots in the street there are people they're already on the edge with you know for whatever reason, bisexual Robin, but Batman can't give his lady love a little licky licky. You know, it's just it's just the audacity for me at this point. Unless we just unless they go back to legacy numbering at nine hundred, you know, so they can make that big hundred issue run to a thousand. Now that I, I would not doubt. <laughs> greedy, greedy DC. But yeah, um, I, I mean the artwork's pretty good on Pennyworth, but mm, it's not necessary. Yeah. But I will tell you what is necessary. Batman 89 number one. Oh, yeah. I loved this book. Not as much as Batman 66. That has its own charm and it's its own thing. And I won't even compare it, but I'm just saying. I, I like 89, but 66 is a must-have for a Batman fan, in my personal opinion. But yeah, written by Sam Hamm, who wrote that original movie. Uh, so what did you think? Did you, did you like the um, the way they portrayed Harvey Dent? I mean, the fact that we're not going to acknowledge that it's supposed to be Billy D. Williams, that's fine. Well, I mean, he's drawn like Billy D. Williams, but I'm just saying, I mean, did you like the whole, you know... <laughs> like, here, 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 we made up for it. We're not going to mention it if you know, you know. But yeah, no, it was it was good. I like it, but it just goes a little too late. I don't know. Like, I can't put my finger on it. Something about why is this out now? We missed um, the anniversary, so... <laughs> Well, and again, Michael Keaton, you know, in the Flash movie, is that why we're doing this too? I guess. Or maybe they have to keep the rights alive with it. Or I don't know. It's a weird choice. And then do you see, I guess, is it is it the end of this year or next year? There's like some kind of big villains issue coming out. And I guess Danny DeVito. Yeah, the beginning of the next year, right? I think, yeah. But Danny DeVito is going to write a Penguin yeah, story. The Penguin story, yeah. For the Penguin's 80th. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, they're pulling off all that. Uh, those first two movie things, maybe. Again, Michael Keaton coming back. Uh, I mean, and I don't think that they can ruin Batman eighty nine. It is still within its own. It's still its own thing to me. So no matter what they do in the Flashpoint, because I'm expecting it to be an absolute train wreck, it's not going to affect my opinion of Batman eighty nine. It's a classic. It held up until you know the Nolan trilogy. I hate people who think they're too cool for the Nolan trilogy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. The Nolan trilogy did a lot to boost the, the the value of the Batman brand at a time where it was at its all time low. So. But yeah, I, I mean, I like number one. I just don't know. I didn't know if it was like I can't decide if it was a little too much Harvey Dent saying I'm going to bring down the Batman. You know, I mean, it's that it, it, 89 was cheesy in its own way too, and that, that's kind of what True. it's alluding to. I like the Joker in this book. What little <laughs> that we get of him? The Joker's dead. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Be what, serious. What did you think? I guess this is our uh, in canon Barbara Gordon. <sighs> she's, okay. not a, she's not a redhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay, but redhead erasure, I'm not feeling it. I, I, I guess they're going with the theory I heard one time that it's like, you know, Batman and Batman Returns are canon, and then Batman Forever and Batman and Robin are like, uh, the movies Hollywood made when Batman sold his rights to Hollywood. Who told you that, Tyler? I, for, I, I think I heard it on a podcast. I don't even know if Kevin Smith said it or something, but somebody said that. That That's, actually makes 
makes so much sense, though. Like, it's disgusting how much sense that makes. <laughs> he was getting low on funds. He's like, I got to fund this lifestyle somehow. So, of course, Hollywood makes the big old neon effects, and yeah. The bat card, yeah, it all makes sense. Nipples. Um, but yeah. I, I will say that it does have a lot of action and drama. Oh, yeah. I really love the art. But it's just still in the back of my mind. Why does this exist? <laughs> Yeah, so many years later, I, I mean, again, nostalgia. I mean, like we said, you know, Marvel's bringing back 90s stuff, and I think Maybe they see this is a hint that they're gonna really, really reboot back to pre prices. Maybe that, that, or at least reboot back to the, like the you know, the 80s or 90s, maybe at least. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think slowly but surely we're racing a lot, of, we're, we're racing all that new 52 stuff and like a lot of the stuff that's come since. I'm okay with that. Don't even make a big deal about it. Please don't. Oh, I, think most... I don't want another damn crisis. Just just do it. Yeah. Just do it and don't say anything. I think slowly <laughs> they've been doing it. Give me a little yellow box and move oh, yeah. on. Every so often they just drop another thing in there, you know, because every so often it might be like, oh, hey, remember the earthquake? It's like, oh, hey, that's in canon. Okay. <laughs> yes, exactly. And if you feel <laughs> uncomfortable making it in a yellow box, make it in an orange box. I don't care. Ew. All right, yeah. but yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna give yeah, Batman eighty nine. I'm here for it. I'll be here next time for how it. Many, how many issues is this supposed to be? Six. Um, yes, yeah, six. Okay, I, I can deal with it for six as long as it what? doesn't get too stupid. Well, I don't know. Is it one of those? It's is it like digital first where they release chapters or something? I don't know. I, I thought I saw something about a digital first or something. Honestly, <laughs> I totally forgot this thing even existed, so I walked into the comic book store. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just so many Batman books, as you'll see. <laughs> no, all right. So, did you read Detective Ten Forty One. I read all the Batman books this week, so yeah. Right. Mm, what's, 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 what's going on here? I mean, it's interesting because yeah, like Bruce is like on the run, basically has no money and. Again, like like I said, we've just done this to death at this point. I know, but I do like that he had the he had the uh pull one of his old suits out of storage to use. <laughs> yes. Also, countdown to Task Force Z or as my English people would say, Z. What is yeah. going on? Uh, well, I again, don't care about that. <laughs> I don't need a backup story detective. I'm sorry. I don't know I, how to break into you. Well, they've been doing all those. I mean, and again, you know, we got the, <clears throat> we got the movie and of course there's a uh, Mini series coming up, I guess. Uh, a black label. What is it? Uh, Suicide Squad get Joker, where Jason leads the Suicide Squad and try to kill the Joker. Yeah, because that'll really happen. Well, it's black label, so I don't know if it's out of continuity. So, of course, it's out of continuity, but they're, they're they're not killing the Joker. Oh please! It's if it's out of continuity, they'll kill the Joker, and then like they'll have to face the Joker's daughter or something. I mean, I'm down for more Joker's daughter as long as it's well done. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no. Um, I, I, I want Mister Work to go away now. I know. I'm like, who is this guy? Why are we spending so much time with him? Are we trying to create a new kingpin or something? I'm like, what is this? I mean, look, listen. Between Penguin and the Riddler, we're good. We don't need any extra villains. Exactly. We've got enough mobsters in Gotham. But I do like that we're kind of going back to the to the mob era that that you yeah. know that 1930s that neo noir you know that I, I like that vibe that they're trying to give. We got an older suit, little like ah, now I just need him to hang somebody off a bat plane or crush him in the recycler. Yes, yes. I think we'll ever get that. Do we think we'll ever get to a point where he'll be like, yeah, I can carry it? I mean, him. look, Snyder did it. People actually liked it, didn't mind it, so maybe. <laughs> Although I don't know if we're gonna go, I don't know if we're gonna get that because I mean, in uh, this again, another bat book, uh, Urban Legends number six. I mean, are we uh, dearming uh, Red Hood now? They, they can do what they want, in Urban Legends, because it's not continuity. But let me tell you, the minute that happens, it's continu continuity. We're fighting. I'm taking a flight. Because he, I guess he kind of comes to terms with Batman and everyone else, and then like I don't want anybody to take this the wrong way. I liked every story in that book except for the Robin thing. Except for oh, the Tim Drake thing. Yeah. Again, it's like it doesn't make sense to me. I'm just like, 
yeah, yes, kids, this is the one I'm sure everyone's heard where Tim Drake, well, kind of sort of comes out. He never says, comes out and says it, but makes a date with his uh, buddy. But uh, Although, I told you, what's that last Tim Drake story that we reviewed? I told you I was getting vibes with him and his friend. Was it last issue, maybe? Was it the last? Because we've done so many things. Because I, I know, the, I know the last issue, I was getting that vibe, and I'm like, oh, are we going here? But that was way back in the day. You can't go digging up that from way back in the day. <laughs> I know. I don't know. It just feels weird that they're trying this. Like, I don't know why they feel like they need to do it with established characters. Like, it's going to give them more gravitas or weight. Mm-hmm. Or that it'll bring in new fans. Because that it just feels disingenuous. Kind of like the Alan Scott thing. It's like, okay, it's great that they have that. But he yeah. was A, a, non, a non-factor. And Tim Drake, really? He doesn't even have his own book right now. So I was going to really say, I was going to say, yeah, if we're going to do this for Tim Drake, give Tim his own book. Don't be doing this over here where he only gets a couple pages every month. Yeah, we need a Tim exactly Drake Exactly my book. point, yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> And and again, is Red Hood getting a shiny new costume, uh, minus guns? I'm liking that they're they're finally living up to Jason's potential, especially in the Red Hood persona, the black sheep of the Bat fam, as he should. And you think they're just like, uh, you know, we can merchandise everybody. Do we really? They still can get Jensen Ackles to do the voice if they want to do an animated movie, things like that. So. But again, with merchandising, are they like, you know, we can merchandise all this stuff? You know, do we want to? As I said with uh, Spider-Man's new suit. Or even the kid stuff. It's like, do we really do we really need a guy next standing next to Batman, you know, gunning guys down every two seconds? What I mean, outside of your kid, what kid's really into Batman like that these days? It's us. It's the old people. I guess, yeah. We're the only ones that can buy the shiny, like, unlimited t- uh, McFarlane toys. But again, it's the logic. It's like, how long would Batman actually let someone work, like, in his town gunning people down and not do something about it? It's like New York, though. It's like, yeah sure there's a lot of a lot of people in, a lot of uh, uh vigilantes in gotham but they never really meet up until he goes missing bruce, <laughs> bruce, bruce i swear it wasn't me it was huntress exactly it's like that wasn't a crossbow oops <laughs> but also i think got uh jason needs to be not in gotham yeah yeah again I mean, even dick got bloodhaven yeah i was gonna say yeah we don't need everybody in gotham yeah give jason his own town Hell, even Damien's not in town at this point. Come on. He's on some pirate island. I know. He's on some Pinocchio donkey infested island. He's on video game island where, you know, you can get killed three times before you die permanently. Oh, they're trying to do... I mean, it's like, bro, I don't need Damien in his own book. What I do need is for him and Bruce to be working on their actual father-son relationship. It's like, okay... Clark has his kids all the time, except for when his dad takes them to uh, outer space or whatever. Well, that well, that was my other thing. I'm like, you know, if Batman isn't going to like try to resurrect Alfred, is he going to leave town to go get Damien? He's a terrible father. I mean, I honestly, what is the point of Damien if he's going to be a terrible father? I don't get it. I don't know. And when they killed him off, like what around New Fifty Two, I was like, okay, okay. But then they bring him back. I'm like, why? I mean, weirdos this... like Charlie Esser love him, so I mean, it's somebody's cup of tea. I don't know if Charlie even loves him. I think he's interested in him sometimes, but I don't think he loves him. I'm just like, I mean, we're a little top heavy on bad characters. I'd rather right? have, I'd rather have it had come out that Deathstroke was his actual father, and then we could have just shipped him off. Yeah, but no, did they do that? I mean, uh, I mean, again, I said we have too many bad characters, but I guess. Well, they're merchandising the hell out of all of them, so I guess if that's anything... I have yet to see Damien Wayne merchandise. I have yet to see it. I know. I'm sure it's out there, but it's not at Walmart, so it don't count. Yeah, I don't I don't really see a lot. You know, you might get a figure... Let me just put it to you that way. I haven't seen it at GameStop. It doesn't count. Haven't seen it at Hot Topic. It doesn't count. I think originally, if you ever saw anything, it was usually in a two-pack with, like, Batman or something. You know, something. Well, the old guy Gardner in the Green Lantern uh, two, three-pack, I see. <laughs> Uh oh, and then we get that Wonder Woman and Zealot story, and why? That was okay. Yeah, trying to that kill Max. Okay. Trying to kill Max Lord because everyone hates Max Lord. See, like, okay, so the one thing that I will say about Wonder Woman eighty four is that I like that they finally used Max Lord because in that original Justice League with like the no name people that they were gonna put out, Max Lord was the villain, and it was yeah. really interesting script. I mean that the script was better what they did with it. 
um, than what they did in Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman 84. But I like Maxwell Lord a lot as a villain. Yeah. Much more interesting than Lex Luthor, but Lex, Lex is still my guy. <laughs> and then, of course, we get the Tim Drake story, which we were talking about. And again, if we're going to do this, let's explore it in his own. I don't need a Damien book right now. I need a Tim Drake book, okay? Thank you. <laughs> don't at me. Yes, I agree. <laughs> You can at me, but I'm just all I'm gonna do is repeat to you. We need a Tim Drake book. Hey, I put that up the other I day. I told you, roll the clock all the way back, give him this little red robin car, and let's do this. Exactly. I mean, they seem like they de-aged them a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. I think they're trying to de-age him to get away from that Drake storyline. <laughs> and again, too, it's too, it's always hard because it's like, you know, he has to stay younger than like Dick and Jason, but he has to stay older than Damien. And you know, and Damien's gone from like ten to thirteen, so it's like, oh wow. And back to ten. <laughs> so it's like, how how old is uh, Tim? Yeah. Yeah. You know, at this point, it seems like Batman's had a new Robin every year now. <laughs> I'm a loner. No, you're not. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. So. So yes, this is the. Uh, Urban Legends. I, I still recommend Urban Legends. Oh yeah, it's still a good book. Oh how? Oh, speaking of Black Canary, we got a Black Canary story in here. I wonder if she'll ever get her just desserts, or is she gonna languish like Wonder Woman? Well, yeah. I mean, we did this thing about you know her trying to infiltrate this organization, and I was all excited. I was, especially when they're like to be continued in, and I was like, yes, yes, and then it's like Deathstroke Inc. Number one. I was like, what? I'm like, how about Rude. Black? How about Black Canary number one? Or at least Black Canary and Green Arrow. But wait, exactly. he's teaming up with Aquaman. I mean, Deathstroke shows up on like the last page or two. And it's like... he can continues... think Deathstroke still has a book? <laughs> Not yet, but he's coming. I guess he's getting another one. Jeez. It... <sighs> yeah, it's like, come on. Enough with Deathstroke. Give us a Black Canary book, you know. Look, it... Joe Maganello says he's out. Deathstroke's dead to us. Move it along. <laughs> I mean, it's been how long? What, like... Five six years since we had a Black Canary book. Come on. Well, that's what happens when you let a TV show ruin, TV show ruin her legacy, True. and then you put out a Harley Quinn movie and call it a Birds of Prey movie. And I know, and I know she's not a bad character, but with the right spin, you could maybe try to convince people she's a bad character. Well, which which origin help. is it that she actually did grow up in Gotham? Was that the is one that we the pre New Fifty Two? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that was pre New Fifty Two. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that I think, is actually canon. Anything pre New Fifty Two is canon. I think, <laughs> I'll well, just put you that way. I think the one we just read in Shadow of the Bat. So yes, let's do that. So there we go. And again, what are we doing? Last page. I mean, you get Talia, but there's no zipper. Come on. I'm thinking that's an imposter. Come on. That's the white canary. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh no. Plot twist. <laughs> they're canceling legends, but they're going to keep White Canary alive. Mark my words. <laughs> Oh no, is Talia going to have been one of her teachers now or something? Oh my god. No, bring back Lady Shiva. We haven't seen Lady Shiva in forever. Exactly. She was in Outsiders for a while, but then that book's gone. All the good stuff. They hate us, Phil. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, now where should we go? Let's see. Oh, Batman The Adventures Continues Season 2, Number 3. Oh yes. Speaking of uh, female heroes, yeah. This book just brings so much joy. I don't know why I was so against it at first. Oh yeah, I still have a little bit of a grudge against Dean, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. He's he's winning me over every issue. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we kind of get a uh, Batgirl and Huntress story here. Uh, this art is so freaking stunning. Shout out to uh, Rick Burchett and Ty Templeton. And I mean, you this, get like oh, Chef's Kiss. Look at that cover. It's just I know. so it brings back that nostalgia of the animated series, even if it is the Red Sky season. It's fine. <laughs> And I mean, again, of course, with the animated series creators uh, on this, you get all those deep dive Easter eggs, like the jazz, the jazz man. man. He was really? in one episode. One episode. It's hilarious. But hey, it makes sense. You know, he gunned down Gordon in that episode. And, you know, Barbara's, you know, first like Barbara's like, yeah, I'm bringing him in. Oh, she holds a grudge. <laughs> but then, I mean, was that kind of dark when like Huntress like, yeah, I want to kill him because, you know, he was playing the piano while my whole family was getting gunned down. I mean, it's Huntress. I know, but this and is... And the, the animated series was actually a little dark. It's a little I know, morbid. But that dark where it's like, yeah, guys... They know who's reading it. Come on. That's true. But they were playing 
It got no good parent lets their kid read DC comics. Come on. The mom was like, oh yeah, here, play the piano while we gun down these people. Play it again, Sam! Da -da 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 -da. Can you play Hit Me With Your Best Shot on the piano? <laughs> oh! oh. Fire but, away! Okay, so the best thing about this book is that it actually gives uh, additional character development. Yeah. Like, what? You're still within continuity? What? You didn't have to reboot anything? What? Thank you. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I enjoyed this book a lot. If you yeah. love Batman in the Animated Series and you just need a little dose of nostalgia, really good character development, great art, this is definitely a book you should be picking up if you haven't already been reading it. Oh, yeah, season one. Season and... two is better than season one, and I didn't think it was possible. Oh, yeah, but I mean, even season one, I mean, they got into the Red Hood stuff. I mean, this season started with Court of Owl. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're they're mixing some of the... Could you imagine if they let Dini and Tim do the live action universe? Could you just imagine? Oh my god, that'd be awesome. Animation's not as great as live action. Okay. Storytelling story wise, it's been better. At least for, Heck yeah. For Did Batman you the animated you series. Up to Justice League Unlimited? Heck Whatever. yeah. <laughs> All right, so where are we going next? I guess that leaves us with Future State. Um, well, I have I have Future State Gotham. I have Joker, and I am Batman number zero. Oh yeah, let's do I am Batman number zero then. Which you know what I I actually got two of the uh well, I got the two DC uh free comic book day issues uh. Me too, but not worth. So so they reprinted some of this in uh the Batman issue. So. You get a little sneak peek, kids. All right, so all right, so what did you think of this? I am Batman number zero. Jace Fox, huh? I mean, is that getting kind of annoying, Tim? No, call me Jace. It's, it's like why? Mm, I don't know, but like I'm sick of the Magistrate storyline already. Yeah, I, I, you know what? That might be the only silver lining of. Tyne and leaving is like, may, will, will that will the whole magistrate stuff go away? Yeah, I'm kind of sick of it too. You know what? I, I, I'm i liking what's going on in the detective, except that, you know, when you, or, or even the main bat books, but then, then when I hear peacekeepers or magistrate, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, we're still doing this. And it's, it's a shame that this issue has to be like the bridge that we can't just jump into it. It's a lot of setup. Um, so the story is like kind of tedious for me but i like the artwork so shout out to travel foreman on that one mm -hmm. um john really just i hope he gets a hold of his dialogue a little better that, that's it, all and even if this was, book was the greatest thing in the world i think it's going to be hampered by issue one's going to start next month i think that's when future it's going to start during future state they, so starting they, starting they, in the middle they, they keep shooting themselves in the foot and i don't get it yes yeah, they, they need better management starting in the middle of a crossover just i mean i know you want to establish this guy You're but not it's marvel like, you can't do that yeah it only works for marvel it does that's a marvel thing that's classic marvel it's gonna it, be very off-putting to people who only read dc yeah and especially you know, if like, all the books are gonna be crossing over and stuff it's like we're gonna have to stop in the middle and be like oh hey who's this guy? Doing future state stuff i don't get it make it go away yeah i thought, I thought we decided future state bad once the dido left i get yeah i guess the dido wanted his shekels he still has friends and uh low friends in high places so <laughs> where i wonder if his plan was even worse but they're like oh hey we can like kind of cherry pick what we want out of that oh, plan they, cherry pit. they polish those turds as much as they can so i mean besides like Superman and Batman. I'm like, I don't think anyone else is using any of the future state stuff. Really, well, Green Lanterns, but besides that, I don't think anyone else is using future state. Yeah, so it's like, what are we doing? I know. It's a mess, but I'm here for it. I'm here to watch it all burn. So, it's a solid, average story. And I just felt that the, it, this is going to be the, your new Batman. They should have stepped it up just a little bit more. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I was going to say, is 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 this so we this have is real bland? Is very is the, by the numbers. It seems kind of slow. I mean, I hate it. I hate it here. It's almost like they're trying to do Arrow, but they're trying to do like the flashbacks and everything. And they're like, it's like on 
Arrow if we had we had to wait till like the third or fourth episode for him to put the suit on. Yeah. And I know modern how we had to wait seven seasons for them to actually call him green. And, and and again, modern storytelling, and I know people write for trades these days. And again, this is an issue zero. So is this supposed to be the or you know? Hey kids, guess what? Issue? The trade, the trades are dying. I don't know if you guys are looking at the same marketing stuff that I'm looking at, but the trades are dying. It ain't happening. All I know is a couple weeks ago when I went in Barnes and Noble, I mean their uh, their trade section was really slimmed, you know, really shrunk down. I mean. It looks like the manga section exploded, but the trade... Well, of course, yeah. that's the only area of comic books that's experiencing rapid growth because oh, yeah. they understand their market. But yeah, that's like the smallest I've seen the trade section in Barnes & Noble. I'm just like, yeah, like, I don't know why we're writing for the trade still. It's not happening. It's, it's, it's actually cheaper just to write one-off stories. That way you don't have to be dependent on a team doing a 25-issue run. Like, use your brains! And again, it's, and then it's easier to doing one and dones or two and dones. It's like, you know, if somebody can't hit their deadline, you can always have someone fill in for a month. It, it's like common sense is gone out of the window. I That's why I prefer creator own books at this point. I'm totally an indie girl. I'm, I'm rooting for the big two, but they ain't making it easy. So. Poor Jace. It, <laughs> I he, hope it gets better for him. Oh, say. that reminds me. Because um, we weren't. We didn't really talk about it on Capes this week. Um, so they're actually going ahead with the Valzad story over at HBO Max. This oh. kind of reminded me of that. Oh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that story? Yeah, is it Michael B. Jordan behind that or something? He's producing it. I don't know that he's starring in it, but he's definitely producing well, that's what I mean. It. Yeah, he's like behind the scenes or something. Oh, okay. And I was like, okay, so we're not doing a movie. We're going to do a six-episode TV season. Oh, so they're not doing the movie. They're doing this instead. Yeah, it's going to be a TV Oh, I thought they were instead. going to do both. Okay. No. So yeah, I, I was like, there, there's no way they would do. No offense. The, no. After after Steel, there's no way they'd do another Black Superman story. There's yeah, no, I, no way. I thought they were doing the movie, and then uh, Michael B. Jordan was like, "Now nah, let's you know let's do this uh, let's do this other one over on HBO Max too." You know, because people have been screaming for Val Zod. Well, actually, the TV show like HBO Max is actually gaining a lot of traction, probably because you know Disney's over there charging thirty dollars for you know extras. <laughs> yeah, but they're not that whole thing. Yeah, and and then uh, this week also they dropped the first three episodes of Titan season three. Yeah, people are really liking that. So yeah, kids, Red Hood, uh, get lots of like yeah, they basically all come to Gotham. So ooh, tread tread lightly. And uh, don't want old man Jorah to come show. I mean, old man Batman to come showing up. <laughs> well, he he's kind of in the first. I won't give too much away, but he's he is kind of in the first episode. So. Did they crack his hip or his back and tell him to shut up? <laughs> He's like a billion in that show. Oh, if you want me to spoil it afterwards, but I won't spoil yes, it. Yes, please do. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying the first couple, they, they start season three. I mean, you're only a couple minutes in and they start it with. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mostly they were adapting Death in the Family. Or oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jason gets beat down within like the first five minutes. So, yeah. Nice. I, will, I might have to go ahead and watch it. I was going to wait for the whole thing to drop, but if that's the case. But yeah, Do they're... they have somebody playing the joke or is it all just like voiceover? No, they basically just like show him from a distance, beating him, and yeah. Did I say Mark Hamill? Did they call Mark Hamill? <laughs> yeah, no, you, yeah, basically all you basically hear is the laugh, but. Oh, okay. <sighs> but so no, we get, we, get Bar we get Barbara Gordon, you know, well, I'm sorry, Police Commissioner Barbara Gordon. Oh, really? Mm hmm. But she's That's in the wheelchair. She's in the wheelchair, yeah. The, the timeline ain't adding up here, homie, but. I know. Because, okay. <laughs> like, because, uh, what? Like in the beginning of the, like in the first episode, you know, you see Dick come to the crime scene. He's like, "Oh, I'm looking for Commissioner Gordon," and then they like turn around and it's Barbara sitting there in the chair. Yeah. Okay. Yes, because Gordon's dead. Her dad's dead. We don't get the stash. No, I think they I think did they say Freeze killed him. I think. Yeah. Got oh, the, I have I have to get caught up then. That that sounds wild. Yeah, yeah. You know what? If you have time, watch it tonight or watch it tomorrow after our Chichester talk because yeah, they do something with Batman at the at the beginning. I'm just wondering if there's a twist to it. But yeah, just they do something with Batman. I'm just wondering if that's real or not. So Okie dokie, will do. Sorry, sorry for, for spoilers in the middle hey, of no, the no. Batman that, podcast. You knew what this was. Like I said, uh, like I said, any spoilers I gave are like 
from like early in the first episode. So yeah, they dropped three this week, and then I guess uh, I guess they're doing just one one week after that, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But um, I actually like the Joker number six. Oh yeah, I liked it. I thought it was good. Or should we call it Gordon number six? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, I don't think I feel like they don't think that Gordon would sell. But honestly, I literally was watching uh, Gotham on the premise that it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I don't yeah, think they understand. Yeah, I mean, the Joker's almost like not even needed for this. I mean, you could have given Gordon any kind of mission, but yeah, I would have been here for this, but I guess they think they need that branding. Something big better happen to the Joker by the end of this. That's all I know. Again, well, is that your, wasn't that our theory that he's, then it, again, I haven't heard that, that rumor lately. Aren't they supposed to kill a major rogue sometime before the year's over? Plot twist. It's the penguin. It's the Riddler. It's the Scarecrow. Oh, no. Wait, it would make sense, Fear State. It would make sense for it to be Scarecrow. Yeah, oh my god. You know it's going to be either Joker or Scarecrow's going to die. Bruce is going to blame himself, even if it's not his fault. And then guess who? That's why he leaves town. Another man, man guilt trip. Oh, no. Oh, my god. We're my, you know, as soon as we're done recording i'm gonna tell you something about titans okay <laughs> I, like, I, wait a minute the synergy's too strong with this one. oh yeah oh yeah because scarecrow's in uh titans uh by played by uh vincent what's his face from uh angel oh his son yeah the, connor, connor yeah yeah the other connor that i didn't like okay yeah <laughs> actor's great the character not so much but that, that's a joss whedon thing yeah, he plays Scarecrow. He's basically he's basically, well, he's locked up in Arkham. He's basically like a Hannibal Lecter type. Like they go to like I guess. The, also, basically, he's just Jonathan Crane. <laughs> yeah, the police were <laughs> the police were basically going to him for for advice. You know, like trying to help solve other different crimes. And when Dick found out, he's like, Barbara, why would you do this? Oh, Bruce recommended it. It's like that's not who we use. We use Calendar Man. I know. Hannibal Lecter interpreted. Come on, guys. I'm sorry for the spoilers, kids. And then uh, Scarecrow won't won't talk to anyone. Unless you bring him weed. Who is he? Little Hellfire? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are they writing about my life? I'm going to end up in, in a crazy place only talking for weed. Oh, great. It induces fear, only talks to people if they bring her weed. Hmm, okay, I can see it. It's a tough break. <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm I'm here for this Joker story. Well, I, like I said, this Gordon story, but they call it a Joker story. How do you feel about the backup? I liked Punchline's backup. I'm an advocate for Punchline. I'm here for it. I mean, but she does seem a little Mary Sue. She took over Blackgate. Blackgate. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. Arkham, but Blackgate. That's my thing. It's just like it seems like they're rushing this. It's like I mean, she's been here five minutes and she's already like, you know any criminal in that jail she can like just like whoop their butt and it's just like okay power of a white gen z woman <laughs> that is the, yes. that is my satirical take on it it is satire so <laughs> i mean i was i just think okay the crazy energy i guess i just i don't know it's, it's if you look at it as, as a satirical take it is chef's kiss <laughs> well we always talk about gordon's you know what uh driving people crazy what about the joker <laughs> he's a narcissist he gaslights people into being paranoid and crazy that's a whole thing i'm just saying maybe his uh well his his venom his that joker it, venom? his squirting flower in Dow superpowers maybe <laughs> <laughs> that was something all right <laughs> hey, well. but yeah i i i like that jim gordon is getting a chance to freaking shine yes. without batman being over his shoulder it is about damn time Exactly. All You're right. You're not reading Joker, the Joker, because you thought it was going to be all about the Joker. Yeah. Rest want, assured, it is not. If you want a good Gordon story, and I, I, but I like Gordon's working with his daughter on this. You know, he knows who she is, and we don't have to play the literal cat and bat and mouse game. And again, it, you know, it, it, it makes sense for him even more than Batman. It's like, hey, I need this backup, you know, and with Oracle and again, you know, of course she's going to care. It's her father. So it's long overdue. I, yeah. I enjoy it a lot. All right. So future state Gotham. Ugh. When is this book done? It's, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Is it a mini or not? Cause it doesn't feel like a mini at this point. Like they're kind of like laying out way too much. 
I just wonder if it's going to run as long as the future state or stuff runs. Isn't that a whole other year? I don't know. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. Tynan is, uh, when Tynan leaves, is the future state stuff going to be done now? Is it going to be like a Nick Spencer thing or that, you know, once he leaves, they're kind of, are they going to cut some of the short stuff short or? I hope so because it is killing the momentum on everything. Yeah. I mean, it. Like it was better than the last book, but that's not saying much. But I, I just, I just need my Batman back, cruising the streets, beating on guys. Come on. I mean, they're losing money on on this stuff. Like, like it, I, I never see it sold out. Yeah. Between three comic book shops, it's never sold out. <laughs> Nobody's really talking about it on on Twitter, on TikTok, on Facebook. No, I mean, again, look, we got how many bat books this week, and Tim Drake was the Tim Drake thing was the biggest thing. An urban legend, you know, urban legend. Hello? A backup, a backup story, not even the first one. Yeah, I, I mean, I love the room at that point. Again, know? I again, I love Tim, and I want him to have his own book. But I mean, yeah, I mean, Batman was in how much stuff this week, and Tim Drake got the headlines as they meant it to. Yeah, that, that's what just doesn't sit right. It felt like it was being, you know, titillating, salacious. I guess maybe, but it's like I—I I would think they want uh, Jace to get the headlines, and I don't see it. I didn't see any headlines about Jace this week either. It's because it's disingenuous. It's fake wokeness. They yeah. want it to flop so they can say, "See, it didn't work." Well, that's my I'm, thing. I'm just saying. Is it fake or is it just like all these people say they want the, all these, you know, all these books with people of uh, different genders and or races or sexual orientations? But then, like, no, no one. Do- Right there. I'm just saying. We, ha- we, had, we even had the, the night we, you know, uh, Batwing, Batwing himself. His brother. So it's just, like I said, it feels disingenuous. You, again, if you wanted Lucius Fox's son. Why do son, I care? If you wanted Lucius Fox's son, you had a Lucius Fox's son here. He's been here for years. He literally even suited up on Batwoman. Like. Yes. He, where's he's, the synergy? He's in the TV. Sh- he's in a TV show. <laughs> I guess it's they not that hard. Again, like again, did they not want to dirty up Luke, but they wanted a Lucius Fox son who had like a you know like a troubled past. Well, they're making a Lucius Fox clone. God. Or why does it have to? Why does it have to be Lucius Fox? You know, make, can it be a kitty adopted? Something. Like I said, we had Duke. Duke was just like, bro, I'm right here, man. Oh Y'all yeah. Ain't done nothing with me in like ten years. <laughs> I haven't even been a character that long. <laughs> Duke and Lucius, I mean, or uh, Luke, yeah. It's like it, it's just very frustrating and disappointing in the route that they're taking, unfortunately. And like oh, I said, yeah. it just feels disingenuous and like they didn't really want to do it, but they did it to shut people up. And then, I mean, the future state one. I mean, that just seemed like such a money what grab. Even that cover, like when I picked up the cover, I was like, "Do I even want to?" I'm not sure. It just seems like a money grab because it's hardly verse punchline. But not really. <laughs> It's like, yeah, not in continuity, you know, again, a possible future. And then once again, we get a backup that was it's a reprint from, I think, the 90s. And you're charging me, oh, it's only $3.99. Okay. Not stay in the line at $3.99 because most of those books were $4.99 this week. <laughs> well, yeah, because like the Urban Legends and stuff is the bigger and yeah. Again, that's why they're throwing backups in Detective and stuff so they can charge more. And it's like, look, I'll say this: I might not like the story, but the artwork on every single Batman book is on point. Oh yeah, I think they <laughs> really the saving grace of a lot of these Batman books at this point. I think they know they have to do that. Well, <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're if you're uh, staking like h- half of your line on a on one brand, yeah, you better bring your A game artists, which they do. I just wish that the Bat books felt more connected super connected i mean is that was well, that even what, mildly connected yeah but is that what is that what fear state's gonna do though at least for a while because again once bruce leaves is everyone gonna be like in and out of everyone's books because like i like i showed kristen that article i was like so is dick gonna be in charge now or dick and I barbara like it's Robin War 2.0 maybe Which but is I'm, why I'm very skeptical of them doing this <laughs> But I'm just thinking, Bruce is going to leave town, and then are Dick and Barbara going to play mommy and daddy to everybody then? Probably. Yeah. But here's the thing. Nightwing better than Batman. 
Oh yeah, definitely. statistical facts. This is dangerous. They're playing with fire. How how funny would They're that be? They're playing with fire. They're not gonna like that answer. I'm just telling you. I was gonna say, how funny would that be if like you know Bruce? They is going can to... do a Nightwing show, no problem. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. Oh yeah, as, I, I'm telling you, go watch those first three episodes of Titan season three. I mean, all you gotta do is erase a couple characters, and you can have a Nightwing show. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, are they going to be in panic mode if like six months Bruce is gone and like no one's clamoring for his return and they're like, oh yeah, I'm loving this Nightwing in charge stuff. Yeah, let's keep doing this. Didn't we really kind of love Robin War too? If I'm not mistaken, you're gonna have to scroll way down for those uh, reviews. But I believe we were loving it then too. Oh hell, when he was when Dick was Batman right before New Fifty Two, I was like, oh, okay, that's I guess that's nice. Bruce. Can we do this? Can he not come back? I know. I was they're like, not gonna like these answers, bro. They're gonna ignore the marketing like they always do. It's fine. It's fine. Again, they always gotta go back to the status quo. I mean, you want to be bold. It's like, hey, why don't you wait like five years and keep Bruce out of the books? But they'll never do that. Yeah, he's not Barry Allen. People would lose their crap. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine thirty years just just Dick being Batman? <laughs> and now that we got Jace, if you have Nightwing training a new Batman. <laughs> Oh, they're not gonna like this. Oh my god, I can just see the scene now. Him, Dick, getting in Jace's face. Don't be him. <laughs> isn't that his? Isn't that his pitch to every single person in the Bat Family? Yeah. You're better than Bruce. Tim, Damian, Jason. Yes, yes. It's like that meme. Even the weak of us, the weakest of us, are better than them. <laughs> Again, watch Titan season three. I, oh. I can't wait to get caught up now, but yeah, a lot of bad books. Half of them are worth it. Half of them are. Uh, maybe this isn't going to be on my pull list too much longer. Just to be honest, Future State looking at you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm like, I'm I don't know how much more too. I can take a Future State. I mean, you talked me into the first couple. I'm like, I don't know. They were good. And oh yeah, it's like they do this crap. And I'm like, Red Hood story. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be like a rotating thing every time, so you don't know who yeah, you're going to get every Red time. Hood. I don't care about nothing else. <laughs> I mean, issue four, we're already at Harley versus uh, Punchline. It's like, what if... That was such a desperate plea, bro. It was a plea for help, honestly. Uh, so I wonder if the sales aren't there, so they were just like, oh, let's do it already. Pull the trigger. Uh, poor Future State. I just want it to be over with, to be honest. So do but I. That's it. Uh, what else do we got? Was that it? That's no, everything I had, it. unless you have another one or something. But That's all I had. Not in the Bat Fam. But yeah, okay. like it's crazy that it was ten bad books and only five of them were really worth picking up. And they were half of them weren't even the main books. I know. I know, and then think about that. And then I mean, we had so many bad books this week, and there's more. I mean, there was no Nightwing this week, there was no Harley Quinn this week, uh, there was no Catwoman this week. I mean, it's not named Detective Comics for nothing. Yeah. Oh, the main Batman book wasn't even out. I mean, we had Detective this week. We didn't have the main Bat book. So, I mean, there's at least four more Bat books out there. Ouch. Well, like, and then, and then forget all the miniseries and, uh, you know, Batman Repti Reptilian and all that. Who's that for? Again, if, I think they think they can slap Batman on anything and it's going to sell. I mean, they're they're doubling. They're In really this pandemic, doubling. they about to be sorely mistaken. They're doubling down, man. They're, they're like, it's hey, called man. Arg me matey. Okay. Hey, if we have to make Batman half our line, hey, that means we're going to sell half our line. I think that's their plan. You know, at least half the books we publish are going to get bought because they're Batman. Or uh, tied in if Batman. they don't keep that quality storytelling up, I'm not going to keep buying these books just for the artwork. I'll tell you that much. You heard Lil Hellfire DC. Make sure you keep it up. They're lucky I'm even talking about them. They were they still this should be on a three-year ban, but since we're doing a specifically Batman podcast, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, and they're working on my damn nerves. Oh, my! <laughs> I'm this close! I know. <sighs> All right, kids, so we basically gave you, like, 11 issues tonight. Is that, are we done? We're done, kiddo. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, kids. So, yes, yeah, send your thoughts. What do you think about the new state of the uh, bad books? Oh, wait. I got to bring up the schedule for next time. Uh, wait. More bad books. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, but we'll be here to cover it. <laughs> and that's a threat. Not a threat. <laughs> somewhere, so, somewhere, in, somewhere in Illinois, uh, Rob Southgate got to chill down his spot. <laughs> 
told at Gotham. Oh, that's right. Next time, next week starts our uh, Scarecrow month. Scarecrow Timber, baby. <laughs> that's right, Russell. You're welcome. Uh, so next week, Batman Annual 19. And then in two weeks, uh, kind of a sequel to it, Batman 523 and 524. And then in three weeks, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight 137 through 141. And then we'll round out the month with Detective Comics 571. So there you go, Lil. Ooh. Got two weeks of Bat Batman, the Batman book, one week of Legends, and one week of Detective. So nice little grab bag. And then plus whatever new comics come out, which will probably be a lot. <laughs> Get your hay bales and apple cider ready, folks. It's autumn. Go to the bank and get your loan, kids. Uh, email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com. Or call the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And DC, any promotional uh, issues or anything you want to send us, hey, please feel now, free. Wonder Woman, 80-year anniversary, if you want to slide it over this way. Go, make <laughs> me, uh, go through other channels. <laughs> Or I was going to say, even just Batman stuff for our Batman show, man. I can display stuff. Come on, kids. Or give us some exclusives to reveal. Come on, DC. Go ahead, throw it in. So, yeah, uh, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614 382 2737. That's 614 38 capes. And remember to follow uh, We Are the Night <laughs> Batman podcast on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, find links to all the various social medias for all the shows. Links to this YouTube channel. See a little help. I roll her eyes at at least half the bat line. Uh, links to the Patreon. Links to merch. Stay hydrated and cover your nips. Keep in touch, kids. All in one place. That's Linktree. L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And of course, please remember, support the Southgate Media Group. Go to southgatemediagroup.com and also, go subscribe to the Southgate Media Group YouTube channel. Go subscribe to the uh, Southgate Media Group Patreon. There's a bunch of free and paid content there. And, of course, go pick up Pod Life the book. Now digital and paperback. When you get that and anything else on Amazon, use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. Help us support this show, the network, and a man who is no stranger to... Overpromotion. <laughs> and trying to cash in Rob Master Doom Southgate. Make it rain, so says Master Doom. What did you say? Come on, Phil, say Gotham. Mark my words. All right, well. Gotham. All right, kids, if you want to hang out with me on the interwebs, you can find me on Twitter, live tweeting Stargirl Tuesday nights at Little Hellfire, over on Instagram at Little Hellfire CC9, and of course on TikTok, making comments, not content. Your content might be the lucky one. At Lil Hellfire 69. Deceptively hard. Yes, I am deceptively hard. <laughs> uh, the hard was implied. That's right. not our Patreon. It's a hard one. Alright, kids, thanks for joining us again. Come back in one week for Scarecrow Month. Scarecrow Scarecrow Temper. Again, you're, you're welcome, Wild Man. Uh, that's right, kid. The Batman world. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine when he leaves Town in 70 Bat Books and there's not going to be no better? Well, no original Batman. I'm still for false advertising. You know what? You know what they need to do? They need to keep the regular Batman book going and do like him on the road, like in the sense he gets a Daredevil. We don't really care about Bruce anymore. Let's just move Little Cool hard traveling heroes have him travel the country, you know, the rich man rediscover, you know, trying to discover the little man. We'll write it, DC. Just contact him. That's right. So come back, kids. Remember, we are the night. The Batman Podcast. We are Vengeance. We are the night. But it didn't fit on a t-shirt. Huh?